I can turn to page 99, exercise 29. And uh, here is a nasty looking rhythm. Mm, not nice. So we have what appears to be a uh, pretty consistent underlying rhythm with these wide complex premature beats happening periodically and the heart rate is about 200 beats per minute. Uh, and that's just based on um, the distance between a couple of R waves. We can you know, take this one as an example. So the heart rate here is 300, 150, that's uh, 180, 210, somewhere around there, 200 to 210. And uh, we don't see P waves anywhere. They're not clearly discernible, although you, know, you might argue that this is a P wave coming off the T wave because we see it consistently here, and we see it sort of there, and we see it here, we see it here, um, so yeah, would be fair enough to call this a P wave. But keep in mind, this is a resting adult patient uh, who cannot possibly mount a tachycardia of 200 beats per minute at rest. Uh, so this is a dysrhythmia, clearly a dysrhythmia. And um, the P interval, uh, since P waves are not really clearly discernible, we don't see the beginning and end of those P waves. Uh, P interval is um, that should read not applicable, actually, not PR. That should read not applicable. So I'll write that in there, cross that out. The QRS is narrow in the underlying rhythm, but we do have these wide complex beats that happen earlier than expected without uh, associated P waves. And so those are premature ventricular complexes. And um, the ratio is not applicable. The rhythm is irregular only because uh, we have this regular tachycardic rhythm disrupted by these premature ventricular complexes. And uh, so the interpretation is uh, supraventricular tachycardia. That's what uh, this is here with a rate of approximately 200 with frequent uniform premature ventricular complexes because, because you'll notice that the QRS morphology is consistent. This one is the same as this one, same as that, same as this, same as this. Now, um, we only have five PVCs in this rhythm, but you know you would want to uh, report and document the, the number of PVCs that you see per minute. And, um, you know, with a rhythm like this, um, you know, you might ask yourself, well, do I treat these premature ventricular complexes? And the answer is no. You would treat the SVT. You want to know why are they in an SVT with a heart rate of 200. And we want to disrupt that SVT. And um, I'll discuss this in a, in a separate presentation, an ALS presentation. But you would disrupt that SVT with either vagal maneuvers or pharmacologically or uh, with cardioversion, depending on um, you know the, the hemodynamic status of the patient. 